Alright, so I just wanted to give you a brief, uh, quick demo of the MSP430. Now, the launch pad actually um, already comes equipped for you with the microcontroller, and you have the onboard LEDs and buttons that you can already make use of. Um, these are the power jumpers right here, so you can actually uh, use battery power if you want to power the device remotely, or you can plug it into the USB, which just feeds it power directly. Um, it's a fairly cheap device. It only costs about $4.30 to get the launch pad uh, with your um, MSP430 G2 microcontroller chip. And it, you can also buy on a booster pack with the capacitive touch unit, which is this unit right here. And this basically allows you to um, utilize the launch pad to interface using the uh, capacitive touch sensors on, on board here and that just plugs right directly in there. Now if you want to go ahead and go out and just buy one of these microcontrollers um, in mass quantities they probably cost about um, 34 cents a piece. You can usually buy them online similar microcontrollers like the uh, the AT Mega um, and they usually cost a couple of bucks. You'd have to buy your own breadboard um, wires and LEDs if you want to put sensors and LEDs on there to interface with it, your own buttons all that fun stuff, but this is really easy just to, as a developer to get started and to give you the hardware needed to just start programming and get it up and running. Um, it's pretty much ready out of the box for you. It's already preloaded with some demos in there and you get the um, Code Composer Studio which allows you to just, um, you know, really helps you working with the code and, and interfacing with the device and debugging it. A lot of good features in there and um, it ships pretty fast if you order online, online from uh, Texas Instruments. So I'm going to go ahead and give you a brief tutorial of the capacitive touch demo. The jumpers for the LEDs are already in place for you. So I'm going to go ahead and remove them so that we can allow the capacitive touch to interface with um, the LEDs directly. So I'm just going to remove the jumpers real quick and make sure we get those off. And that's going to allow me to plug in the booster pack with the capacitive touch unit on here. Once I plug this in, it receives power. The device is automatically put into a sleep state, which as you can see indicated by the red LED in the center of the board. That's lit on to let me know that the device is currently sleeping. To activate the device and wake it up from its low power sleep state, all I have to do is just wave my hand a couple of times about one or two inches away from the capacitive touch board. So right over the board, just wave my hand in that motion with the LED patterns that came on. Let's me know that the device is now powered on. Now I can interface with it. And as you can see, by touching the device, I do get immediate instant response from the LED lights that are on the board. And as we touch the device, we'll notice that they give us instant feedback right away to let us know that we're currently interfacing with the device. So if I move my hand over the wheel, it senses the motion and lets me know that that motion has been detected. Um, we can go ahead and get a quick demo up and running here for our little device. Alright, so as you can see, once we plug the device in, we can get the demo running. The device is now awake, and as I touch using the capacitive touch sensors, it automatically notices the motion. We can recalibrate it, um, so it's a little sensitive to touch all around the board, pretty much because you have the sensor right in the middle there. And if I move my hand over the wheel, we can actually pick up on the motion, so we can indicate whether it's clockwise or counterclockwise motion across the wheel. Um, and we know which operation indicated by the top left-hand corner on the screen. So if I press 0, 8, 4, 12, it'll pick up the motion, and I'll know if it's clockwise or counterclockwise. Now, once I activate the device again, wake it up from sleep mode, all I have to do is touch the middle button, and that will launch uh, Media Player for me. It takes a few seconds to load, but once I do that, I can push the down button. 
can lower the volume. By lowering the volume here, we get a lowered volume from uh, the, the device through the computer. Now I can raise the volume again. We just go ahead and raise up the volume. And then we can go next, 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 work backwards, pause, play, and that just lets me go through my playlist through Windows Media Player, um, just completely using the launch pad with the booster pack device, and um, the software runs on the PC with the controller actually being able to pick up uh, from the sensors which buttons I'm pushing on the device. And again, we can pretty much just do that pretty much out of the box using the demo.